Jesus! I cried, being jolted from a half dose of quarter to midnight by my new Halloween-themed ringtone. It didn't do wonders for my heart rate, especially since I momentarily forgot I'd changed the tone at all that day. It took me a while to find my phone stuck down the side of the armchair I was sitting in, not helped by the fact that the only light in the sitting room was the static of the widescreen TV. Unknown number. I answered it. There was no one there. To be honest, I was expecting heavy breathing on the other end, as I was still a little freaked out. But there was no noise at all. I hung up and took a deep breath and frowned. Maybe I just pocketed myself. My old iPhone could make a fake self-call designed to create diversion, so if I was having a boring conversation with someone, I can pretend mom was ringing or something. Although I wasn't familiar at all with this new piece of crap. Dad bought it from a gas station for 20 bucks a few days ago. Since I lost mine on a trip to the city last week, I flicked through the few features on the menu screen trying to find the fake call option, but didn't have much luck. For one thing, the screen was about half the size of a credit card. I cursed and decided to watch TV instead to take my mind off things. I tried using the light of my cell phone to find the remote with little success. Groaning out of laziness, I hauled myself out of the chair to get the light switch. Stopping halfway, I registered the fact that I had the TV on satellite channels when I fell asleep. Yet now? Static from the analog aerial. I ran the rest of the way to the stitch and basically punched it. Light flooded the room and my darting eyes saw nothing. And another deep breath. My moment of fear passed. I guess I was a little unused to having the whole house to myself. Mom and Dad were only gone for the night, but it was quite a treat for me since they rarely went anywhere, even during the day. Nowhere to go but fields around this part of the country. So them going to a friend's wedding meant I finally had some solitude. I still couldn't see the remote, so I decided to recheck the sides of the armchair. I threw my phone on the seat and reached deep down either side. The phone rang again, and a creepy blast with my ear pressed up against it. I angrily grabbed it. Damn it. What? Again, there was a dead silence. Cursing, I threw my phone back on the seat hard. At that moment, the light bulb blew out violently and power went out, thrusting me into total darkness. With a shriek, I scrambled to grab the phone again and found it after an instant blind of terror. Using the tiny screen light to see, I panicked and bolted down to my room as fast as I could, jumped into bed, and pulled the covers up. I curled into a fetal position. I was panting hard from both the run and the fear. I couldn't form any thought for about five breaths until I decided to call Dad. Looking at the screen, I saw I forgot I hung up the last call. My breath caught in my throat as I saw that this time, it wasn't an unknown number. It was mine. An old number from the phone I'd lost. As I hit the red button, my terrified mind began to race through a thousand horrible implications till I realized something else. My bed was already warm. The message tone nearly gave me a heart attack. It's under your pillow. Ever so slowly, a trembling hand slid underneath the pillow. and found the TV remote. From under the covers, I heard my bedroom door close, then locked.